Mm. My hair is looking kind of crazy. Here we go again. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy. And today we have to tackle a topic. We have to tackle a topic that I'm probably not as prepared to discuss as I should be, but I'm going to try. Um, you can read it in the title. Ometa City MMR doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to do my best to explain this um, because it's an oversimplification. I'm, I promise you, I'm going to try to I'm going I'm to try to walk us all to water and see if, if we can quench this thirst. Um, yeah, you, you got this. Um, you got this MMR number. You got this rank. Um, but it doesn't matter. And I've, I've talked so much about this and, and I kind of want to paint a picture of why this is an, an important conversation and, and why I feel the way that I do. So let's get into it. Um, first and foremost, you have to look at predecessor literally. You have to look at it for what it is. You have to look at what you're playing and you have to look at all the variables involved. So what are we actually playing? Well, and actually, you know what, for the sake of saying, I'll go on ahead and uh, pull up a blog post here. This is literally just to try to cover my bases, right? Uh, I'm going to pull up a blog post here, go to dark mode, and let me see if I can find where was the last conversation about ranked. I feel like I'm not I'm not seeing it. Maybe maybe Twitter would be a little bit uh, better. Twitter would probably be a little bit better. Let's go find the blog post about ranked play, uh, because I do know that there was one and it's been a little bit. Uh, this might actually, you know, this isn't even the blog post. This is just about ranked, right? There's a blog post out there, whatever. So this is work in progress. This is a mode that's not come out, that has not come out yet. It's a mode that has an unreleased date. So when I, when I say we got to look at predecessor literally, what I'm what I'm getting at again, I'm, I'm just going through all the steps here is that we are not playing ranked. We are not playing ranked. Ranked does not exist. These unofficial artwork uh, borders and ranks do not exist inside of the game. And Ometa City, just for the sake of saying again, I'm going to cover, cover all my bases. This website is not officially affiliated, ran by, owned or operated by predecessor and Ometa Studios, the developers of predecessor. Uh, so what we're looking at is um, we're looking at an unofficial ranking or unofficial MMR system for a non ranked mode, right? Are you all with me? Like the, the ranked mode that they're working on is in progress. It's not released. Um, the website that we're looking at is third party and it's not officially affiliated, ran by operated or owned by Ometa, the developers of predecessor. And what we're looking at on top inside of this website is an MMR number per player account um, and a and an associated rank, right? Like I'm crashy. I'm diamond three. You can see this little icon. You can see I'm 1845. 5.7 uh, MMR as of the time of this recording. So again, let's just get it all on the table. All of this is very unofficial. It's very not literal. And if we are playing a non-ranked mode, which we are, we've established that we're playing a non-ranked mode. It means that we are playing what? Casually, um, quick play, quick matches, uh, standard matches, however you want to put it. We're playing standard matches. Now, I'm going to try to do it in very silly, crashy fashion. I love pulling a paint on stream and stuff. I'm going to try to show you um, the difference between standard matchmaking and um, say ranked matchmaking. So in standard matchmaking, we're going to go with red standard matchmaking is it's very big. It's very big. The goal of standard matches or quick play, quick matches is kind of what it suggests. Um, it's just to play the game. You, you, you want to get in there quick. You want to find um, all kinds of you know players and, and just quickly get in there. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some rules behind it. Uh, you know, you, 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 there's always rules behind matchmaking. That's what matchmaking is. It's just a set of rules. So some of the more common rules are going to be like, try to put people in similar ping together or on the same server browser. Like in, in predecessor, you have the ability to select your server. So that's a rule, right? It's not going to match make with people outside of that server selection. Um, another, another big rule for a lot of games is to try. It doesn't always do it 
it, but to try to get people of the same party size together. Um, another main thing of matchmaking is, especially with skill-based matchmaking and, you know, MMR-based matchmaking, is to try reasonably to put people of similar skill together. Now, here's the thing. That's where Ometa City, or that's where matchmaking in Predecessor is it's a little wacky, is where, um, you know, let's say you have like a 1,200 player here. Um, they might be in the same pool as someone that's like 2,400. Um, and that's a, that's a big stretch, but you get the point. Like this is kind of like standard, right? This is, I know this is super ugly, um, but it's kind of the, the charm of it. Standard. This is standard, right? It's kind of the charm of it. Um, it's just very open. It's very loose. It's very free, right? Now, adversely for say a ranked mode, it's much tighter. It's much, much tighter. Um, you're going to have... We're just gonna put an R for ranked. You're gonna have pockets where standard's gonna be very open and you might have like a few blocks of open brackets and, and even then it's probably not even that tight. Um, you know, for ranked, you're gonna have it. It's a much tighter scenario, right? Um, standard is also, hold on, let me go back to my brush. Standard is also anywhere between one player and five players. It doesn't matter. Whereas ranked will be one player, oh, different blue. No, that's, that's, that's scuffed. Ranked will be one player to two players and just keep on the theme with 2400 again fake number just keep just stay with me 2400 will maybe match with 2000 max right like it's it's a much shorter range and so you'll do many more pockets of ranges of matchmaking of people that can get matched together and then again the rules the parameters will open up over time so as the longer your queue time is maybe those ranges will open up but this is the difference between say a matchmaking system that's for standard quick play and a rank system um, that is you know one to two players maximum party size where a standard is one to five so why is this important because the reason this is important is because we are currently playing this this is all that pred is and again i'm just trying to make us like understand the reality and the facts here um, again to, to quickly recap we're playing not a ranked mode because they're still working on the ranked mode it hasn't been released we are operating within you know, looking at these at this website, Ometa City, which is not owned, operated or um, run by affiliated in any official capacity by Ometa, which is the developers of predecessor or predecessor game entirely. And we are playing standard matches. So we're all on the same page. What does this mean? It means that the, the there's a very specific word I want to use here. I'm even going to use the text for it. The variables. The variables are all over the place when it comes to standard matchmaking and the way that standard games are played. The variables are all over the place. And this will drastically affect the matchmaking. It will drastically affect the MMR gains. It will drastically affect the system entirely. So let's go back to Ometa City and let's look at this number, 1845.7. Well, where does this number come from? Where, how, how is it, how did we come up across this number? Well, this number is from a matchmaking or an MMR, sorry, an MMR formula that Ometa City has chosen to use for the match data. Now, what is match data? This website oper operates off of an API server. An API server has the ability to pull data from the game. Very simple explanation of it. You know, it can do quite a bit, but it can pull data from the game. So when you're looking at my profile, you're seeing all my wins and my losses for the last day. And this, these are literal, right? This is literal data that has come from the game. You can see my builds, you can see who I played with, you can see my CS, you can see my kills. Um, you know, when you click on these things, this is literal data. And right next, right next to, on top of literal data, you have these MMR climbs. So it feels very ingrained in truth. It feels very ingrained in reality. But what I need you to understand is that they're separate. The match data is literal. It comes from an API server. It comes directly from predecessor. It is literal 100% truth. That is 100% factual. What you see here as a defeat or a victory, that happened. But... But this number plus 6.4 plus or minus 6.5, you know, plus 4.9, those numbers are not simultaneously truth. They are a 
value, an, a, a, a formula that was put on top of truth to create a value. So Ometa City has taken a formula, whatever one they use, they could tell you, I don't care, doesn't matter. And they have put it on top of, they have applied it to the match data, which is literal. So at a glance, this feels very literal. It feels very real. It feels very ingrained in truth and reality. But the truth is that it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. You're going to hear people say this and it, it feels maybe hard to comprehend it. I feel like I'm going to try to do my best to explain it. It's just not real. It's a number. It's a value. It's a formula that they have chosen to put on top of real, truthful, literal data. Now, but this is relative, right? This is relative. It means that if other people are also enacting in this system, re relatively speaking, there must be some merit to it. Relatively speaking, you should be able to look at your MMR, your numbers, your values, and compare it to other players. That is true. So the sentiment of me saying Ometa City MMR doesn't matter, well, that's not quite fair to Ometa City MMR. It's not quite fair because it does mean something, but it doesn't mean a lot so and this is where the conversation gets so messy and hard to explain so i just need you to stick with me technically it's relative and so if another player is far lower mmr than me and far lower win rate than me then i think that it's 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 reasonable to say that that player is probably not as good a player as me it's reasonable but again i'm going to point back to a very specific term the variables the variables are all over the place in this system. And what I like to call, I, I like to call it the ecosystem is less controlled. So if you look at standard matchmaking and you see this red circle and you look at ranked matchmaking and you see this circle or ranked the ecosystem of it, the ecosystem of what you're operating in is far more controlled far far more controlled you have one to two players only you have much tighter matchmaking you have um a pick ban draft where there's no mirror matches you have it's far more controlled and and what i mean by controlled is that there are there's a there's a set of rules that go along with it there's a set of of structure with standard matchmaking it's a fucking free for all. It's the wild, wild west. You could have a full party of five and maybe y'all are a really good party of five. So you win a lot, your MMR goes up. You could be playing with a Smurf account or a new player who's really good or is Smurfing or, you know, whatever the case may be. And that's gonna, that's gonna throw your MMR numbers all over the place. Because if I, as like a high rated player, queue with a low rated player and we win, I, he averaged my MMR down. And so then I'm gonna gain a lot more points. So that's a variable. Um, what other variables? Uh, I could I could be solo and queue into a team. I could queue into like a group of four, and their coordination could you know kind of carry me a little bit. There's there's the the other variables are simply this. Like I could be very high rated, and I could accidentally jump into a game with like a 1400, 1500 player. That happens all the time. Uh, in fact, look, I'll, I'll just click on one. Um, it's like basically every single game, 1500 player. You know, the rest of us are like 1800. You know, and again, relatively speaking, 1800, 1900, whatever. Numbers don't really matter. So the variables are wildly, um, are, like the variables can can be like wildly divergent and they can be um, like crazily all over the place, whereas in an actual ranking system, much more controlled. Now, why does this matter? Well, because in a rank system, the control kind of creates the outcome. Like the fact that you're you're operating within a controlled environment means that everybody's operating within a controlled environment. So then the actual points, the actual rank, the actual numbers that come out of it should be consistently controlled for everybody, meaning it's fair. Whereas in this system, like I said, it's the wild, wild west. You know, I don't control the matches that I get. I don't control the players that I get. Um, you know, the only thing I can do is try to win, right? So the number... First of all, let me get this out of the way because I'm what I'm about to say is is important. The rank means fuck all. It means nothing. Diamond three, like cool. It could be it could be master seven. It could be you know uh, erroneous eight. It could be Jupiter. It doesn't matter. This means literally nothing. It, it's just they just made it up. Now the number is much more tied to the formula that they use for the match data. But even still, this number just doesn't really mean anything because the number is void of variables. The number is void of context. And, and yet, 
it still does mean something because I can find a far better player than my myself and they will be higher than me. And I can find a much weaker player than myself and they will be lower than me. But what I can't find is the truth of the variables. I can't find that. You can't search for it. You can't, you could investigate it. That would be a waste of time. Um, but you can't, you can't, you can't really understand the variables that led the person to the number. Um, with a lot of like high rated people or, or a good number of high rated people, they five stack a lot or they used to five stack a lot or they play with three, four people sometimes. Uh, with low rated people, sometimes they're just not that good. With people like me, like I've, I've done a little bit of five stacking. I, you know, I've played duo. Uh, sometimes I get, you know, massive gains like 9.9. Like that's crazy to see a, a plus 9.9. Sometimes I barely gain anything. It, it's just it's just wildly um, inconsistent and crazy, and it all just depends on the random ass game that you get, right? Like some like this game, they were really really high rated on the other team, and and uh, you know they were probably the win probability was far in their favor, and we ended up winning. So with a thirty seven percent chance to win, we ended up winning the game. We're gonna gain a lot of points, and but we didn't choose that game. It just kind of happened, right? So the variables are like cr crazy uncontrolled. And essentially the, the TLDR of this whole video is that trying to rank, trying to put an MMR system, trying to put these ranked icons, these ranked badges on a casual matchmaker, on a standard system, it's just stupid. It, it's just dumb. Now, I can bring myself to the level of understanding why people care about it. And this is where I'm going to, I'm going to cause, or I'm going to, I'm going to like claim some blame or I'm going to, I'm going to give some blame, I guess I should say. The reason why this system exists is because predecessor has failed to give us this system, the, the blue system, the rank system. We haven't gotten it. Now I say failed. That's a bit harsh. Uh, they tried, they offered it on the season two roadmap and it never happened. And now we're still waiting for it. So it failed is a, is a harsh term, but in a sense, you have to look at predecessor and recognize that it is a competitive game. It's a MOBA. It's inherently competitive. People want to play it competitively. There's tournaments going on. There's teams. There's people that take it very seriously, myself included. We want this, right? We want that, but we can't have it yet. So the reason people care about MMR on this is because there's nothing else to care about. So I get it. I totally understand. Um, but you know, every day I stream and every day I post videos and every day I read the Reddit and, you know, seeing these people post about, Oh, I just hit this MMR and I'm, I'm this rank. And it, it, it just, it's very disheartening to me because I just feel like they're being sold like a lie. They're being sold a lie about like what the game actually is. And, and they're falling into the trap of like, uh, of like, of this website, like making itself more important or more like necessary than it is. Um, now let me tell you, I'm not just here to shit on Umeta City. I think that this is a phenomenal tool for everything other than this little rectangle right here. The fact that you can read your match data is awesome. The fact that you can read your stats is awesome. The fact that you can look at your builds is awesome. The fact that I can look up um, Soul Reaper and I can say, dude, I have no idea how to build Howitzer. What do I do? How do I build Howitzer? And I just go, you know, what? let me let me go find his last Howitzer game. Oh, okay, Mega Cosm, Tainted, Caustica. Oblivion Crown Time Warp. Okay, I'll try that. I'll try that. The fact that you can do these things is phenomenal. It's great. It's it's awesome. Um, the only thing that doesn't that isn't awesome is this number and this rank, because again, it's just it's just ludicrous. It's nonsense. So I say all this to to put a little bit of blame on Ometa for 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 kind of like I said, failing to deliver ranked in a game that's competitive that we've been playing for a really long time that we want to. Um, we want to, we want to rank ourselves. That's why people give a shit about Omega, Omega City MMR to begin with. Um, but I also have to put blame on Omega City for doing something as ludicrous and ridiculous as, as putting MMR on top of a standard system. Again, when you look at this illustration, again, it, it's the variables are wild. The scenarios that you can jump into are ridiculous. It's, it's terribly uncontrolled. It's, it's the wild, wild west of playing a MOBA and you're, you're going to try to rank it. It's just ludicrous. So. In short, which is not really short because it took me about 20 minutes to explain this. It's not that this number means nothing. The rank means nothing. Being diamond, being platinum, being masters, that means nothing. It's not that the number means nothing. It's just that you can't really 
extrapolate exactly how good a player is from it either. And so take it with uh, not one grain of salt, take it with like a fucking handful of salt. When you, when you look at these numbers, you look at these ranks, um, personally, dude, check your, check your win rate. Like, see if you're winning games, like check your, um, you know, check your, uh, your farm, like see if you're farming well, like pay attention to your build relative to other players, like use the website as a, as a way to, to increase your skill. Um, but not by just looking at this stupid number because it doesn't mean anything. So friends, that's my Ted talk. Thank you so much for coming to it. Um, I feel like I'm going to be fighting this battle until ranked comes out because here's the other thing about Ometa city MMR, the literal minute that ranked comes out, nobody cares. It's going to, this dies instantly. So it's just like this silly system that is placed on top of silly matchmaking and silly standard mode. And again, you just have to be honest about what we're playing. We're playing standards. We're playing quick play and it's it's just like it's just kind of a big lie it's a big lie to kind of make this website seem more important than it is and it is important it's the only good website for the game to begin with um but it's not this important this this shit doesn't matter this little you know what i mean like this little this little board this little icon it doesn't it doesn't mean anything it's not it's not official it's not real um this number it's not official it's not real it's it's a it's a fake number calculated by a formula that was put on top of literal real data so there you have it. Drop a like on the video, subscribe for future predecessor content. Let me know if you agree with me. Um, it, it, to be completely frank, it doesn't matter if you agree with me. This is just true. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, be sure to be kind to of one of my tells when you love them. And I'll see you on the next video.